This is Stevenson Old Cemetery in North Ayrshire. This is the site of one of the largest of the old cholera pits. There's something of a forgotten phenomena. From 1832 on to the end of the 19th century, there were several outbreaks of cholera spreading across from Europe. In this case here, over a number of outbreaks, a total of 606 people died. And this is the reason why this part of the cemetery is not covered with gravestones. So they're all buried here in a mass grave. The reason for that was that one, it was difficult for such large numbers of people to be buried individually. There were also restrictions on the movement to prevent the spread of the disease. However, the workers at the old Ardea ironworks did pay for a memorial. So this sadly vandalised memorial stone here does record the story of the numbers of people who were buried here and the circumstances. There's also a story that links with this in that it's said that there was an outbreak at Dal Rai and a farm worker whose home was in Stevenson managed to leave Dal Rai, came down here and he was carrying the disease and that led to one of the first outbreaks. Cholera can kill very quickly through diarrhea and for the loss of other bodily fluids. However, it is very easily controlled through hygiene and sanitation. But many of the doctors who were treating the patients did not catch the disease at all. It occurred throughout Britain and throughout Europe. In the Ayrshire area, there were 40 who died at Bar Mill. The story there is that uh, some local lads from the village went up to visit some gypsies who were encamped on a hill and they picked up the collar from them, brought it back, and so the 40 people were buried in what's called the dead man's planting. Dal Rai, there was a, a collar pit, but no record of how many people died. Also, Monk Castle, some trees were planted on a small burial pit there. Kermarnock, over a couple of uh, collar outbreaks, had a total of 380 people. Down in Dumfries, with a total of 420 buried. Beath, just outside Spears Old School, has a burial pit with 105 people in it. There's also examples in Paisley, Comores, Irvine, and many other places as well. With improvements in sanitation and hygiene, cholera is thankfully a thing of the past. However, the number of cholera pits, the large number of people who died, shows how, how significant it once was. Only a few have memorials, for instance the one in Kermarnock does, and the one at, at Bar Mill near Beath has uh, recently been restored with a memorial plaque and can put in place. These pits were usually placed somewhere well away from habitation, well away from drainage, and uh, it's said that slate lime was thrown in first to destroy the bodies and prevent the disease from continuing. Occasionally, examples still appear. For instance, uh, there's a cholera pit on the proposed route of the railway um, from Glasgow to Glasgow Airport, which was in the news.